In this video, I'm going to go over some of the new features in Solar 9 when it comes to widgets. The first thing I want to point out is you may notice right here on my screen that my message queue widget is flashing. And when I move my mouse over it, it quit flashing. That's a new feature in this version of Solar. And I want to show you how to set that up. So if you click on the little pin right here on any widget, it'll take you into edit mode for that particular widget. And you can see that there's a new checkbox there that says flash on change. So you can put a check there and when that widget gets updated, it will blend in and blend out. Now in the old version of Solar, it had something similar to that where it was like outlined in red and went flash, but this is a little bit more prevalent and brings your attention to it a little bit better than the other version. <clears throat> the other thing I want to show you here is all the different sizes of widgets that you can make. So right here I have an invoice preview queue widget and you can see this has got 48 items. Well, if I click on the edit button here, <clears throat> you can go over to the widget icon, you can change uh, the picture that shows up on the widgets to represent something to make it stand out a little bit better for you than just color. But color is probably the best and that's the next thing I want to show you is the widget background. You have all these different options that you can choose for colors to separate uh, your widgets out so they have a little bit more meaning for you. You can for all your different uh, cues that you may have, you may want to have them a certain color, kind of like I have out here with my message queue and fax queue and my job queue. All those are the same color. You could have order entry uh, or sales related widgets, a certain color to kind of distinguish between the two. <clears throat> but all you got to do is just click on the, the widget background to change the color or the widget icon to change the icon. The other options you have now is changing the size of the widgets. Now, this invoice preview queue is set to the three by one size. I'm going to hit the edit button again. And it's set small for three by one. I'm going to change it to tiny so you can see what happens here. <clears throat> it makes it a whole lot smaller, but you still have the, the number there that represents the widget and the items that are in that actual queue right there. So you can make these widgets smaller and they still will feed you the information that you need. <clears throat> if I hit the edit button again, we'll go make this medium. And what you can and you can see the change here. Makes it much, much larger, takes up a whole lot more space, but still will feed you the information just like the the, the small or large will do as well. I'll change that back real quick. Now, the process of creating widgets are exactly the same. So if you want to add additional widgets, you simply just right click and hit add widgets. And you have your list of widgets that you can add. When you choose a widget that requires settings, such as the invoice preview queue, you'll get to pop up to the right with all the different fields that you need to uh, enter to complete the widget. You can always give your widget a title and you can still add menu shortcuts just like you could in the old solar. So you come over here and you would type in or you can browse but you simply type in what the menu item is that you're looking for. So for example, I may want to add transfer order entry. <clears throat> so I'll simply come over here to my solar main menu item and type in transfer order entry. Well, and actually to show you show you something here, you don't have to type it out completely. It'll search for that as well. So you can just type in part of it and we'll find everything that has transfer and order in it. So there's transfer order entry right there. It renames the widget title for you. You can still set it to various sizes and still give it a background color and a logo. So I'm just going to go ahead and add this one. And you also may notice that the widgets now kind of snap to grid, where before you could kind of position them anywhere on the screen. And when you do that now, you can see that the widgets will just kind of snap to a grid. It's an invisible grid back there, but it helps you keep these things a little bit more organized. 
The next thing I want to show you real quick is creating a new category. And the whole purpose of these categories up here are to help you organize your widgets more efficiently. If you remember in the old solar version, some people had their screen loaded down with widgets and shortcuts. It was just extremely busy. So the whole purpose of these categories is to kind of break it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new category. And I want to do one here that I think would be um, something that a lot of people may take advantage of and actually use in their day-to-day -day job. But I'm going to create one called Counter Customers. And I can give it an, uh, uh, an icon here. I'll give it a little Android symbol and hit OK. <clears throat> now, what you may want to do is, I know a lot of people will have a ton of widgets on their on their uh, solar uh, desktop for walk-in customers that come into the counter. Of course, you can right-click now, and then you can come over here, and we'll choose uh, choose um, quick sales order entry. And when I'll type in my my home branch, my ship branch, I'm gonna come down here to customer. And type in a customer and then hit OK. And now I've got a quick sales order entry for that particular customer. You may have a whole lot of those already loaded on your home screen. Well, how do you move them to that new category? If you hit the edit button on any of your quick sales order entry widgets or any widget that you want to move to a new category, simply click on the edit button. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to Widget Category and click on the drop down, and you'll see your new category that you created, and you'll hit OK. And it will move that widget to your new category. So you don't have to delete them and then go back and recreate them in a new category. You can move them back and forth between the two. Thank you.